What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media, back with another video. So like I said, I promised you guys some content on the cars whenever I'm here at the family house. Not too much going on today, but let's do a little car tours of some of the cars here. So first things first, let me show you guys the stock cars. My brother's work truck over there, his Chevy Silverado. My sister just made it here from Florida. She drove all the way from Florida alone in her Mazda 3 down to Austin, Texas. Um, what I did off camera was I spent the last two hours giving her a deep clean, cleaning it down. Car was filthy after the road trip. Wheels look nice and clean. I had a pressure washer, so I pressured it real good. Engine bay, I cleaned it down too. Door jams, trunk, everything was really nasty looking. And if you guys are wondering, she drives a stick shift. Let me actually show you guys on IG story. On Instagram, I did a little Instagram story on how nasty it was. So, here it is. That's the before, pretty nasty, and after, so much cleaner. But yeah, PSA, keep your cars clean guys. I know my sister and my wife, they don't usually keep their cars clean, they don't wash it themselves. But it's good to do regular maintenance, keep it clean, makes your car look nice and shiny, safe to clear coat and the paint on your car. Over here we have the wifey's Honda Civic. Uh, I washed it down just last week with my Civic SI, so she still looks pretty clean. Usually my wife doesn't clean it for a couple months on end sometimes. But for the most part, it's not bad. White cars, they can be hard to keep clean sometimes. Speaking of hard to keep clean, I think the worst to keep clean is a black car. And maybe that's why this car just sits in the garage most of the time. Uh, I know you guys miss this car, my Turbo Mitsubishi Lancer GT. So when I'm here, like I said, I'll try to make videos. It's been about two or three weeks since I started it up. Uh, I think I should go ahead and start it out, move it out of the garage just to let it warm up, warm its fluids. Since I'll be going to Singapore pretty soon, for two weeks, I won't be seeing this car. Uh, who knows when's the next time I'll be able to start it up. Of course, I gotta show you guys the engine base since the hood has already popped. If you guys are new to the channel, this is my 2015 Mitsubishi Lancer GT that's been turbocharged, white body, bunch of rare JDM parts. My pride and joy. So yeah, I know a lot of you guys, like I said, are followers of this build on the channel. I'll start it up real quick in a little bit. Let me do the rest of the garage tour. My Honda S2000, the new to me, newest car, I guess, in my lineup. Um, yeah, really clean, I love the car. Last video you guys saw, I drove it for a haircut. Uh, that was quite literally the last video I made and I drove it here to the family house. These Spoon SW388 wheels look great, but like I said, I've been contemplating on switching it up. If you guys have been watching my videos, you would know I also picked up a set of Blast Bronze T37SLs. All I need is tires, and I can pretty much slap on the wheels. These wheels aren't for sale just yet. I have a bunch of people asking me. Uh, I'll be keeping them, so I'm not sure yet. I might just run this setup. We'll see. I don't know. I mean, since I already have off-the-market wheels to rock on the car, I'm not in a rush to change them out right now. And then on the interior, see the same thing. Quick release Vertex steering wheel, work spot shot hop, NRG quick release, Mugen shift knot, OEM S2000 red carpets. Still waiting on my Recaro seats to go in because I don't have the uh, bright wheels. Still waiting for, for it to come in from Japan. So once my seat brackets come in, I can mount my seats. And then the interior is more or less done. Oh, and then my spoon mirror, I have to put that on too since I broke the last one. And then my Voltex carbon fiber wing, I think should be able to go on 
I have been contemplating on possibly getting a duckbill. I still want to keep this third brake light. So maybe a duckbill that goes over it and then the wing, but I don't know, we'll see. Because if I put a duckbill, that means I have to, you know, pretty much pay to get it painted too. So we'll see. And then we have my brother's Mark V Supra over here. Latest edition is the Voltex Type 12.5 carbon fiber wing. Car has been sitting for a while. It's and uh, yeah, like I said, car's a little bit dirty. He needs a wash. He did ask me earlier after I finished washing my sister's car, like, hey, you wanna wash my Supra? S1000 needs a good old wash too. I know on camera still looks pretty shiny, but yeah, she is getting a little bit dirty. Here's another view of the Mark V Supra. You can see all that pollen on the lip. Here in Texas, pollen season in like March gets pretty bad. Now it's no March, it's like pretty much May already, April, May, but man, I see a lot of pollen. All this yellow, fine, dusty stuff gets on your car, especially a black car. So yeah, she stays sitting in the garage. Um, but yeah, besides just walking around, might as well go ahead and uh, show you guys the car, start it up, bring out the garage, do a little walk around, let it warm up. So it seems like it's about to drizzle, so I'm not gonna pull it out the garage, but I still wanna start it up. So let's go ahead and fire up the car. Let's go to the back of the car. I absolutely love these tail lights. Yeah, it looks so good. On the front end of the car, we have sequentials as well. Yeah. Looks so mean and aggressive. Let's go ahead and show you guys the interior real quick before I fire her up. You guys know this is my show car, so I always keep it nice and clean, nice and immaculate. decided to do the same with the Supra just have it warm up like I said he also hasn't driven it in a few weeks and will be gone for a couple more weeks so might as well give it a nice warm start show you guys the inside here's the red leather seats in the launch edition and since it's the launch edition one of 1500 it does have launch edition here and says the serial number let me zoom in there we go all right we did some reshuffling around so here looks so much cleaner in the garage the plan is eventually have like a storage rack to put all these stuff and we want to get like a host reel outside the idea is to use like an aftermarket wheel have it outside and put the the hose around that should look pretty cool uh, we move over the oem stock super exhaust over here with the other stuff so yeah, that way the exhaust is not in the way over here every time we walk around in the garage. All right, so one last view in the garage for all the cars. I think I'll be leaving the family house today, so this might possibly be one of the last few videos you guys see before I make my Asia trip. So as of right now, today is Sunday. I leave for Singapore Friday early morning, so it's like in five days time. Uh, weekdays, I usually don't really shoot car videos unless there's a car meet going on or I'm installing mods. Uh, with my new work, uh, it's been pretty busy, so I haven't really had much time to shoot car content on the weekdays. But yeah, most probably the next video or next few videos will be in Asia, so make sure to stay tuned for that. 
Uh, I have a couple car buddies over in Singapore and Malaysia who I've hit up. Hopefully we'll be able to check out their cars. Uh, should be a pretty cool and fun time. I'll also be traveling around, bring my wife since her first time there just to eat the local food, check out local places. So that should be a fun time. Make sure to stay tuned for those travel vlogs. All right, and if you guys stick to the really end, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Hope you guys like this. I know it's super simple, but like I said, I try to make as much content as I can for you guys to keep you guys entertained. Plus, it's not easy having four uploads on a YouTube channel every single week. You guys, OG subscribers would know, I've been doing this now for seven years since 2015. So definitely not easy putting out four videos a week on the channel. Again, if you're new to this channel, that's every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Time, new upload on the channel. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.